Hi everyone, this is Hisham Bakr from Egypt. I would like to introduce All-in-One Remote version 2. With version 2, you can control any app ever. You can design your own custom remotes. But before talking about custom remotes, I would like to talk about All-in-One Remote in general. All-in-One Remote is an Android application that let you control PC from your Android phone using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. All-in-One Remote supports Windows, Linux, and Mac. All-in-One Remote consists of two parts. First part is the server application that you should install in your PC. You can download it from my website, hishambakr.com. The second part is a mobile application. You can download it from Android Market or Amazon Market or other Android markets. Once you download it, Android server on your PC, install it and start it, it will display your PC IP. Then download Android application from Android market and start it. And first thing, go to settings and choose active connection type. You can choose Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. After that, go to Wi-Fi settings, server IP, and put the IP displayed on the server application. If you use the Bluetooth, go to Bluetooth settings and enter server's server Bluetooth address that is displayed on server application or you can search for Bluetooth devices. In our tutorial, we'll just select not selected just to display application without any functionality. Okay. In real application, in your real phone, when you configure settings, just press on connect. If you face some issues, I will talk about them at the end. And if you can't fix these issues, just send an email to me. First thing you can see is the mouse pad. You have some quick tips. You must read them. If you don't want to see them again, just highlight, don't show this again. You have this mouse pad area. You have left click, right click, and you have keyboard. You have scroll bar. You can use multi-touch to zoom in photo applications or internet browsers. Just use two fingers to zoom. You also can drag icons by press on this area for a second, then move your finger. As a note, drag is disabled by default. So you should enable it first from settings. Mm, um, enable drag just to highlight this checkbox okay this is mouse pad about game pad And it should be in landscape, not portrait, but I am using uh, emulator. You can use multi-touch. You can control any app ever in your PC. 
and if you have the pro version you can customize your gamepad you can add any number of buttons delete any number of buttons change button position resize change keyboard mapping you can change the keyboard key that will be sent to PC just uh, click menu and use um, gamepad designer and now you can move buttons you can delete button you can double click on a button and choose delete button or change the keyboard key that will be sent to PC after you finish just choose menu and choose save if you want to resize buttons instead of movement just choose action and choose the mode you want move or resize when you finish you can choose menu save if you want to refer to your changes just choose menu reset there is another big video tutorial about gamepad design you will find it in help page now i will talk about mp3 stream mp3 stream used to stream mp3 files from pc you can browse your pc and go to mp3 directory and choose your mp3 file once you click on it it will play this file after two seconds okay this is this is supported in Wi-Fi for now let's go back about media apps you can control number of media apps like media player media player classic VLC Panchi totem and Winamp just uh, go to media player for example you will have number of buttons you can increase volume decrease volume or mute make full screen play pause go to next mp3 file or previous mp3 file and the same for other media apps about powerpoint this is the um, most innovative powerpoint app you can control it blindly you don't want to to look at your mobile just swipe with your finger left and right you don't need buttons because buttons will you may um, miss click the wrong button but with this design you can look at your screen and don't look at your phone and just swipe with your finger left and right you have three buttons and at the bottom play and stop and black black will make your screen go to black mode click it again to return back and finally is the most innovative feature you can control any app ever you can create your own custom remotes let's have a look click on create remote now you don't have any remotes just click on plus to add new remote you will have uh, three options what is this what is this just to display a help in case this is your first time with custom remotes back and a video tutorial just display a video tutorial about this feature and skip just to start creating custom remote Um, and this is our custom remote it is empty the first thing we can control is remote background just press menu and press background you can choose background color any color you want for example we can choose black or white apply 
once you press apply screen became white instead of colors you can choose image or picture from your gallery just choose background and instead of background color choose background image you will have a button choose image you will go to your gallery because we are using emulator I have only one picture I will choose it and the magic happens apply you will have this image as background now you can use Photoshop for example to design any background you want you can control every details of your custom remote now I want to add a button just choose menu add button you'll have your button you can drag this button anywhere in your custom remote if you want to delete this button just double click on it and press delete let's add another button okay if you want to modify button properties double click choose properties you have two types of button the symbol button and the image button in symbol button you can control button title title color background color for example I will name it any other name and change the title color for example to blue and change background color of this button to green apply your modifications will be reflected in the button you still can move your button this is a simple type choose properties you can choose image button and press this button and choose a picture from your gallery and apply now imagine with me how much you can do with this feature you can put any background ever you can put any number of buttons resize them reposition them and choose any design for your button just choose uh, design um, um, picture in your photoshop and export it as png and you will have a button not only a rectangular button but any shape of buttons because the background in png file will be removed so you can design any remote ever the last thing if you want to send what is the key that will be sent to pc to uh, bc when you click this button just double click on this button and choose keyboard now you, you can not only send a letter just like a b c d or enter alt tab you can also send alt control shift with this letter press apply when you finish just um, press menu we can add the number of buttons again for example add another button a simple button you can have simple buttons and image buttons again another button now we are moving buttons but if you want to resize button just choose the mode of resize menu choose mode resize in this mode just use just one finger because there is number of phones don't support multi-touch use just one finger like movement and now your button from inside your button move right and down you can resize your button once you finish just press menu and save you, ha you can save or reset reset just revert to your changes we will choose save because you will have number of custom remotes you should put a name for your remote for example we will add w for example and i will press ok 
Now we'll return back to custom remote page. Now you have a custom remote called W. You can add any number of custom remotes. We designed our remote. Now we want to use it. Just press on this custom remote. It is in run mode now. Just press on buttons. You will not be able to move buttons because you are in run mode. If you want to delete this custom remote or edit this custom remote, just press menu. You will have delete remote or edit remote. We will choose edit remote. Now we are in edit mode. We want to move button for example. Just make sure that you are in movement mode. Choose mode. And make it move. And you can move the button. When you finish, you can revert this changes or, or just save. Yes. Now you return back to run mode and you can use your remote. Imagine with me. You can control any app ever. Just open, for example, media player. Media player want to, if you want, for example, to make full screen, you should send Alt plus Control. It is easy. Just add a button, rename it full screen, give it an icon, and make the keyboard send Alt and Enter. You can control any app ever. Uh, please use this custom remotes test it and send me your feedback your feedback are is more than welcome please rate my app on, on market and if you face any issue please send me an email at hisham.hassan.bakr at gmail.com thank you very much